Okay, I'm not making uh, gun videos at the moment for reasons uh, that I've explained before, but I might just do some little mini videos on some of the more interesting things, items of militaria, that I'm, uh, that I'm uh, gathering up and acquiring. This is a kit, a prophylactic kit. It comes in a little brown paper uh, sachet. It's called a ProKit Individual Chemical Prophylactic Packet. It was issued to soldiers about to go on leave for the prevention of rather than the treatment of venereal disease. Now the kit itself contains a tube of prophylactic ointment and a washcloth or a soap impregnated cloth, that's what the tube is sitting on. Have a very close look, its markings are um, for use by the US Army only. So <laughs> anybody else, uh, you should have luck. It's uh, just a, a plain um, tin tube and it's, uh, the contents are made accessible by breaking off the tip. It also came with a tissue um, with, with which you could dry yourself and an instruction packet. Now the directions were firstly you pass water then you wet the soap cloth and give yourself and your man bits a thoroughly good huck out, good wash around Break the tip off the ointment um, um, tube and then squeeze approximately three quarters of the content of the ointment up the old fella and keep it there for a couple of minutes. Whilst that is uh, sort of <clears throat> soaking, as it were, you remove, use the remainder of the ointment uh, and rub it all over your other external man bits. Uh, it says pay particular attention to, to certain areas, you can probably read that for yourself. Thereafter, um, you're not supposed to pass water for two hours if you can avoid it. Difficult if you've been on the beer, but there it is. So fairly comprehensive. This was issued to soldiers or made available to soldiers about to go on leave. And the idea was that in conjunction with, now that I've forgot to pull the bloody thing out, there's a packet of uh, of uh, period as in 1944 prophylactic. So use of condom is ideal if in the heat of the moment all the soldiers were boozed and they didn't use a, uh, a condom then they had recourse to this. And they had all these sorts of posters around. I mean the, I think the US Army uh, was pretty mature in its treatment of the whole question of soldiers and sexuality. They were certainly uh, more advanced I think than, uh, than the British and some members of the British Commonwealth. VD in the day was not a joke. Um, it was a significant manpower drain and up until the advent of penicillin, which didn't happen until 1941 I think, I could be wrong on that, but it was difficult to cure and syphilis in particular has really major, major um, health implications. So penicillin went a long way to sort of making the whole VD thing less serious than it was previously. But it was, it was a curse of all the armies. Um, in Italy particularly, unfortunately, um, the Italian civilians um, at that stage were starving in many instances and many of the young women had to become part-time prostitutes and the VD rate in particular around Naples just went sky high and there's a, probably an ap apocryphal story, it's attributed to the New Zealanders but it's probably, <coughs> if it happened at all, it's probably from just as possible from another army. But before the company was uh, sent out on, on leave, uh, the Sar Major assembled the troops and gave them the old health briefing and told them that in the, the area of Naples, um, some 50% of the young women that were working as prostitutes had a particularly virulent form of venereal disease. And just to uh, really put the frighteners into them, he then told the troopies that the 50% that didn't have venereal disease probably had tuberculosis. So he said, what's the moral of the story? As I'm expecting, I suppose, to hear them say, right, stay away from the women. A little voice piped up from the back of the ranks saying, fuck the ones that cough. So anyway, uh, <clears throat> not particularly good taste, but uh, just a little vignette of some of the military items that I find very interesting. And I'll be doing a few of these in the next little while.